Hi guys, James here, and I have uh, a new axe. What we have here is a 1989 Fender Strat Plus Deluxe. Very sexy. The uh, Strat Pluses came out around 87, and uh, it was the flagship guitar for Fender at the time. They pretty much put everything, including a kitchen sink, into it. And um, there's a number of differences between this and a standard Strat. Uh, start down at the long end. Um, locking tuners. Locking tuners that was uh, a big thing back then. They uh, put uh, locking tuners, so you just stick the string through there. Crank the little knob on the back to lock it in place, clip it off, and tune the pitch. That's it. There's no whines. The next thing is the um, the roller nut. The roller nut, um, there's no binding at all, so it doesn't stick when you're tuning or if you're using your trim. It keeps them tuned a bit better. So uh, that was a... Uh, an improvement. This is all like leading edge stuff back then. Um, the next thing when we move on down and the big thing for uh, Strat Plus are the pickups. These are lace sensors. Three gold lace sensors. Fender. It says Fender lace sensor. Most of it's wore off. It's hard to tell. But it says Fender lace sensor on there. These are the uh, the older ones, the lace still makes pickups, but they don't say Fender on them anymore, obviously. And uh, the the ones that came in the later Strat Pluses, like 92, 93, where the name lace, uh, Fender Lace Sensor is, is depressed a little bit, so it protects the, uh, the, the ink. Otherwise, it's the same pickup. So, anyway, these are uh, lace sensors. Another change is in the tone controls, like volume, tone, tone. This one here is a, 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 a TBX control. So it has a detent at over five. So when you feel the detent, it's in the middle. So from five down to one, it works like a regular tone control. Five being full tone and one being tone rolled off. When you go beyond five, then um, it starts kicking in a bit more treble, a bit more bass, just to fatten things up a little bit. Um, it's kind of novel. I don't use it much, but it's kind of cool there. Maybe I'll use it as I get more used to the guitar. Um, it has a uh, a uh, sorry a, a two uh, two pole trim instead of the six pole trim. And we'll go around the back. You can't see it in there, but there's supposed to be a trim setter in there, which was standard on these. Uh, this one doesn't have it. It's at some point been replaced with a spring, which is fine. And it has the, uh, the micro adjust here for the neck, so you can do a little Allen key in there, Allen key nut. So you can use that to tilt the neck forward or back to uh, assist in setup, which is really cool. They did that back in the 70s when they had the three, three bolt system. There was one of those, and they got rid of it. I guess they figured it cost too much money. They were starting to cheap out a little bit, but they brought it back for the Strat Plus. So, anyway, that's uh, generally the uh, the differences between Strat Plus and a standard Strat. So, um, what I'll do now is I'll plug it in and we'll uh, give it a try. Okay, we're about ready to go. Uh, Plugged into my uh, trainer YCB40. <laughs> Usually use a uh, Fender Boost Deluxe, but I was picked up a nasty hum. So uh, I got that put aside until I get it looked at. So I'm using the uh, the old trainer, which is a damn good amplifier for the money. I should do a video on that too. Get around to it. Anyway, bridge position. Um, everything's wide open. Uh, T, the tone is on 5, so I got full tone, but the TBX is not engaged, so it's just normal. I'll bring up the TBX. Turn off TBX. Bye. 
Not a lot of difference. I don't know. I, I think it's rather pointless to be honest with you, but it's it's there. I guess it was something that they were monkeying around with at the time, and uh, you know they decided they're going to put the whole kitchen sink into this guitar. That's what they did. So um, anyway, I'll move up to the second position. <laughs> This is the uh, fifth position, I'm oh, sorry, fourth position, the middle and neck. Yeah, we'll go up to neck. This is a uh, T-Rex uh, DGTM pedal, Diabolical Gristle Tone Manipulator. say uh, I'm impressed with that at all but uh, it could be adjusted I suppose it's got a little resistor in there it's basically two pots stacked one on top of the other so um, with a resistor in between maybe changing the resistor value or capacitor I don't know anyway it's gonna stay the way it is uh, we'll move up to the neck position with the uh, dirt box on <laughs> Strap Plus Deluxe. Any questions on it? Let me know. Thanks for watching.